Court, thank you. Well, people are still talking about the Miss America pageant, but a Monticello woman is getting ready for a lesser known pageant. It's not about beauty, but advocacy. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports. Sit, sit. Melissa Draper is calm, cool, and collected on a sunny afternoon in Monticello. Maybe not what you'd expect from someone getting ready for a state pageant. This wheelchair in Indiana picked my application, so here I am. I'm going Saturday, and I'm really. Really excited, but really nervous too. There, she admitted it. She is nervous. Ms. Wheelchair Indiana is a lesser known pageant, but it's one fit for Draper. I was born like this. Draper was born with cerebral palsy and has always used a wheelchair. She has no use of her legs, but occasionally at home, she uses crutches to help improve her upper body strength. It hasn't stopped her from advocating for people with disabilities for the last 20 years and even publish a book. I talk about my life and when I was born and how I was raised and that my mom has always instilled in me that I can do anything I put my mind to. Currently, Draper is the secretary for the Monticello Mayor's Advisory Council for Americans with Disabilities Act. They're, the community is coming more together to support persons with disabilities. And um, they're actually, there's going to be a um, handicapped swing uh, put in at the park. But life in a wheelchair hasn't been easy. Through my almost 40 years, I've been discriminated against. I've been laughed at. I've been teased. I've been, but mostly from adults. Adults are the, the worst. That's why Draper likes to spend time educating children. She volunteers at a local daycare. I love children uh, because they'll just come up to you and ask you what's wrong. I mean, they don't laugh at you or anything. Her message Saturday at the Ms. Wheelchair Indiana pageant is for children and adults. It's simple, yet powerful. No matter who you are, able-bodied or not, follow your dreams and never give up on them. In Monticello, Kelly Roberts, News 18. And that